Hello and welcome gamers to Halo Clans for today's interview. Today's interview is with the leader of Nuclear Spiders, NDS Webhead. Uh, why don't you give us a little bit of your clan history? Well, we mostly started off at around mid, or mid term of Halo 3. Um, just like getting into it, we really, we really weren't well, doing much. I mean, it was only just me at the time. I didn't really know what to do. Um, didn't really know any rules that I should set or anything. So I just decided, let me just be in it by myself. And long, long story short, um, I met a friend, which is now the co-leader of the Nuclear Spiders. And... We met on Halo Reach, and that's when we decided to officially open the clan in Halo Reach. <clears throat> so, uh, I want to say a year after we officially started recruiting members, we already got all of our uh, training and rules and stuff established, and so we just started recruiting people, and... We started recruiting people, and it didn't really go out so well, um, because the first couple of months, we had about, like, 30 people, and then a whole bunch of uh, spies came in, and then just, it started going downhill from there, and, and it was just uh, me and the co-leader, then we stopped for about two months because we didn't want any more spies. Um, we only had about like, I want to say, 10 raids. And we have one loss and 10 wins. Um, then um, I asked some of my friends if they want to join the clan. They said, yeah, sure. And... Then I decided, hey, let's make this thing called the Council, so we all make our decisions as one, as a whole, and all that. It's not just I'm the one that only makes the rules and everything. Um, I sometimes ask them for suggestions if they want to add something to the rules, if they want to, like, take something out, um, then they can. They just have to tell me what they're going to take out and everything. And then we started getting more people, and then more spies came in, and you can probably imagine how that went down. Yeah, the spies, I don't know, they just kind of wreck everything. Yeah. Um, there was, I think our last spy was about like three years ago. Um, or maybe two. Because I haven't been online in two years, so I'm just now getting online again. Um, yeah, about two and a half years ago, uh, there was our last spy. And we were in a custom game match waiting for a raid with some other clan. I don't remember what it was. Um, and he went to game chat, and I didn't know. And... That was the time that I had to connect, and my regular headset broke, so I had to use connect. It was absolutely horrible. Um, <clears throat> so, I heard him talking to someone else that joined the game, and since I had to connect, I can hear people through the party and game chat. So I heard him talking to this other guy, and it was about, like... I don't remember all the details, but it was just about, oh yeah, we're going to play on this map, and they're going to do this, and all that. And so I went to game chat, and I told him, I can hear you, by the way. I went back into party chat, and he said a couple words, and left, and we never saw him again. <laughs> That's one way to handle it. Yeah. So I was I was actually really happy that I had to connect at the time because if I didn't I would have never have known um, that he was a spy and he probably stood have, or could have been in the clan still today. So yeah, 
Uh, what's your current member count at since you're just starting back up? Mm, I would probably say 15. We had 20 and then a whole bunch of people weren't active for about a couple weeks now. And so the council had to make a decision that we had to kick some people out because they were inactive. Um, and they didn't give an explanation why they were inactive. So some people do have explanations of why they would be inactive. And we would say, okay, that's fine. As long as you tell us that you're going to be inactive, then that's fine. All right. Uh, what are your clan goals? <sighs> clan goals. That's a good question. Um, uh, we actually don't know right now. We're just kind of drifting right through. Now. Yeah. All right. Um, what is the uh, Coalition of New Justice? I've seen that on your website. Um, the Coalition of New Justice is basically, uh, obviously, a coalition. Um, I am trying to get as many good clans out there as possible to face, like, not destroy, um, basically to, I guess, I guess kind of, but like, using a better term, like, get rid of, or like, like all the bad clans that are out there, because there's a lot of really bad clans, and I actually just encountered one, like, yesterday, and a couple of my friends were talking about this clan because they were in it. Then they quit because that clan was actually trying to merge with mine. And they found out that the reason why they wanted to merge with mine was to destroy my clan from the inside out. And it's clans like that that just want to mess up everyone. And I, I kind of want to have like fun with it. It's, I mean, it's not a really big deal. Um, but if you're going to go that far just to make a clan to destroy another clan, then I don't think that's right. And I personally don't like clans that lie all the time. I've encountered way too many clans that lie all the time and they're just not, they're not good. So, yeah, that is one major problem plague in the community, especially in the raiding community mm -hmm. is, uh, people who cannot like accept the loss that they'll lie about it yeah um what has been your uh, toughest fight throughout all of your clan history um so yeah my toughest fight yeah um i don't know if you've ever heard of the wardens of discipline um they're a british clan they're actually really, really skilled, and I'd have to say they are, like, the best clan I've ever seen in my life. Um, they're, they're really organized. They are really disciplined. That's obviously in the name. Um, they, don't, they don't accept everyone, and if they do, it's on a rare occasion. That's basically my only loss against them. Alright, uh, are you guys planning on moving on to Halo 5? Yes, totally. Um, if they at least have our spider emblem, then we'll be set. But yes, we will be definitely on Halo 5. Uh, what are you doing to prep for Halo 5? Um, I'm trying to think of, um, video ideas for, like, a recruitment video, um, but other than that, I'm, we're, I actually don't know, do, uh, not too sure how we're going to, like, prep for Halo 5, I mean, um, I'm still trying to, like, look up information about the game still. I'm just trying to see all the new changes. Um, not so happy about some changes like split screen, but 
Um, basically, we're just playing MCC and Halo 4 um, because Halo 4 is the closest related Halo game to Halo 5. So we've been playing that a lot um, to try and get in the feel of Halo 5, which we don't know what the feel is for Halo 5 yet, but we're going to guess that it's sort of like Halo 4. Actually, to me, it kind of felt like Titanfall, just without the Titans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I know some people in the comment section are probably going to jump me for that one, but it, <laughs> it, it just felt like a lot faster paced, just because the... Uh, thruster pack sprinting and then like dashing to melee yeah um it's like pretty much unlimited sprint around the map if you knew how to do it right yeah um what do you want to see most in halo 5 um mostly their campaign i've been really interested in uh or always. I've always been interested in Halo's campaign. Um, I personally think it's the best campaign uh, in game. That's my own opinion. But very first ever game I played was Halo 2. So, um, yeah, I'm mostly looking forward to their campaign. I hope it's kind of long, not too long, and I hope it has a really good story to it. Um, it looks like it does. And I'm actually looking forward to their esports and multiplayer and all that. Yeah, I, I kind of got piffed when MLG dropped Halo. I'm like, sellouts sold out to Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, actually, that's uh, about all the questions I have. So, uh, you want to give a recruitment message or even ask me a question or something? Okay. Um, yeah, if you want to join my clan, um, just message me on Xbox Live at NDS Webhead, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And I think that's basically it. Um, we are a military-based clan, if you didn't know. Thanks for watching. This has been uh, Halo Clans and NDS Webhead signing out.